In this video, let us discuss about process scheduling. Scheduling is a method that the operating system uses to determine which process to run when there are multiple runnable processes. The part of the operating system that performs scheduling is called scheduler. There are three types of schedulers, long term or high level or job scheduler, medium term or intermediate scheduler and short term or low level or processor scheduler. Long term scheduling is performed when a new process is created. The long term scheduler admits new process to the system. That means the long term scheduler decides which new process should be moved to the ready state. Medium level scheduling decides the process to be swapped between the memory and the disk in order to balance the system load. That means the medium scheduler decides which ready or blocked process should be moved to the suspended state or vice versa. Short term scheduler or the CPU scheduler decides which ready process is to be executed next. The short term scheduler selects the ready process that will be assigned to the CPU. The short term scheduler will be invoked whenever the current process relinquishes the CPU. The short term scheduler selects one process from the ready state to be moved to the running state. A scheduler has three logical components enqueuer, dispatcher and contact switcher. When a process becomes ready, the enqueuer places the process in the ready queue. Dispatcher is a module that gives the control of the CPU to the process selected from the ready queue by the short term scheduler. Assigning the CPU to a ready process involves three major steps. Context switching, switching to user mode from kernel mode and restarting the execution of the process. Context switching means switching of the CPU from one process to another. Switching the CPU to another process requires saving the state of the old process and loading the saved state for the new process. It is done by context switcher. The context switcher saves the contents of all the processor registers for the process being removed from the CPU in its process control block. Scheduling algorithm or scheduling policy determines when it is the time for the process to be removed from the CPU and which ready process should be allocated the CPU next. How good a scheduling algorithm is? There are several parameters for determining this. CPU utilization, the percentage of the time that the CPU is busy, throughput, the number of processes completed per unit time, turnaround time, the mean time from the submission to the completion of the process, waiting time, the total amount of time that a process spent in the ready queue, response time, the time between the submission of a request and the first response to that request. The goal of scheduling policies is to maximize CPU utilization and throughput and minimizes turnaround time, waiting time and response time. In the next video, we will discuss about the different types of scheduling algorithms.